Welcome to Survival Theory. I'm out in the woods on this beautiful spring day. The dogwoods are blooming. The Texas redbud, blackberries, butterflies are out. It's just gorgeous out here. Obviously it's much warmer. And that means a change in my shelter and my sleeping system. I no longer need to be concerned about drastically low temperatures. You know, maybe uh, the low 50s is all I need to worry about and my clothes or my sleeping bag can handle that without additional support. The only thing I need to be concerned about is rain and mosquitoes because the mosquitoes are coming out now. Mosquitoes, no seams, ticks, spiders, whatever might bother you at night. So let's clear this area and um, I'll show you how I set up for warmer temperatures. Now when the weather really warms up, my only shelter is a mosquito net, a sleeping pad, and some kind of blanket and usually a tarp <clears throat> to lay the sleeping pad on so it doesn't get punctured or I don't get any moisture from the ground. I'll put a link right up here um, to the video about the mosquito net and how I set it up. And that's pretty much my only shelter in the summertime unless it's raining. I'm anticipating rain, I'll add a tarp. So what tarp setups can you use with a mosquito net? And that's what we'll look at today. First thing I want to do, whether I run a tarp or not, for this sleeping system, the mosquito net, I'm going to run a ridge line. So let's do that real quick. So normally when I'm running a ridge line, I start with the loop on one end put it around the tree, pull through, put the toggle in, tighten it up, done. Now for this side of the ridge line, I'll just put a trucker's hitch. Make it easy. Pull it tight. In hot weather, this is my only shelter, the mosquito net. This thing weighs nothing. Let's see, where are we here? So I would hang it up right here, and that's it. Just take it down over my bedding, and I'm done. But that's in the friendly sweet mosquito net link, how I set that up. Right now, let's see what we can do as far as a tarp and a mosquito net. So in my tarp bag, I have the tarp itself. And the tarp always has some line hanging from the corners that I've left on there. Did not take off, whatever the case may be. So often I don't even need this cordage. But in the bag, I keep some bank line, various lengths, smaller pieces here, some smaller, thinner bank line. I carry six stakes. These are the Chill Gorilla Ultralight Stakes. They're pretty awesome. And I supplemented with some other. These are Groundhog. These are also very light. And I carry two old dice, plastic dice, for creating attachment points. And these are very lightweight and will not harm the tarp. So that's the, the tarp kit. As with all things camping and survival, you need to assess your needs before you set up your shelter. So, in this situation, it's warmer. It's not going to be cold tonight. It's not going to rain. If it's not going to rain, why do I even need a tarp? That's a good question. Why do I need a tarp? I don't. But let's say rain is anticipated, so I need shelter under that tarp but I also need my mosquito net. 
The number one shelter with the mosquito net is going to be the A-frame. So let's set that up real quick. All I did here, of course, I had my ridge line set up. Just use these prusik loops to secure the tarp across the ridge line. Typical A frame setup, only I raised those ends and used whatever cord was hanging off already. Like right here, it's a short amount of rope and there was no tree around here, so I ran a stake. Over here, there was enough cordage already on the tarp, barely enough to make it to that tree, so I tied it to that tree. It takes care of that side and it's sloped, so the water will not pull on the tarp and it will come down to that corner, and I could use that corner to catch water. Same thing on this side, press a loop, hold it. And this side's a little bit higher, because I want some airflow. Again, this is just for rain. Because I, I need a mosquito net under there. So I just cut this dead pine tree, stuck it on there, ran it down to a stake. Nothing fancy. And over here, I had enough cordage hanging on the corner of this tarp to run it up to that tree. So that gave me a good slope, good ventilation, and it's about shoulder height here at the ridge, so I can hang my net off that. Plenty of room, protection from the rain, protection from the sun, good to go. So here I've thrown in the mosquito net, single point hang system. Again, watch my video on how I set this up. And along with these modifications I made to raise the foot end up more. So with the A-frame, I can run it this way along the ridge line. But I can also run it this way because it is a single point hang system. Now, if you're worried about more driving rain um, coming in through here at an angle, with the A-frame, of course, you can drop these corners, all four corners or just two corners, depending on which way the rain is coming. But with the 10 by 10 tarp that I use, typically it's not an issue. And if it is coming in pretty hard, you can just drop these corners, good to go. But again, if it's not raining, why even use this tarp at all? Now right now it's offering sun protection, which is nice. <clears throat> but when I'm sleeping, generally there's no sunshine. So now I've just lowered these ends real quick. Just pulled up the stake, pulled the toggle, stake down the corners. Now one side is more traditional A-frame for that driving wind that may be coming in on that side. Good to go. So what about setting up mosquito net with something like the Adirondack tarp shelter? Let's throw that up real quick and see if it works. There's our ridge line, and as you can see, it might protect you from some wind or sunlight if you're in the right position, but it does not protect you from the rain. So what about running it that way? Well, the problem is, you only have this small triangle right here for your head area. 
and even a light sprinkle is going to get you wet. Now if you insist on an Adirondack or some other kind of shelter besides the A-frame, there is one option I'll show you. Now on an Adirondack or maybe a lean-to shelter, you can position your bed for maximum coverage from the rain and try to run it that way. On my friendly Swede bag, I've got some duct tape on there. I'll just peel it off. Raise that up to the desired height. And duct tape it on there. So you can see the problem we have. So it just doesn't provide much lift. You're quite limited on the head height and also the length. This is a 10 by 10 tarp, it doesn't provide enough coverage for the leg area or the head area, depending on which way you're laying. So it's just not that effective. Now, the duct tape will work because this is very, very lightweight, it'll hold it just fine. And if you don't want to use that, always carry one of those dice with my mosquito net so I could hook it up just about anywhere. So if you like to camp under the stars or use just a tarp when you're camping, try just a mosquito net. It's a lot of fun to get to see the stars, you know, be a little bit more situationally aware of what goes on around you at night. Tarp, only if it's raining. So try it out. But whether you like to camp with a hammock, a tarp, or a tent, or rent a log cabin, the important thing is to get outside, have some fun, enjoy the beauty of nature. Thanks for watching Survival Theory. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.